Hello, it's your girl Eureka Monroe again. Um, if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Um, I decided to do this everyday kind of glam makeup look. Um, so if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. So yeah, I've already moisturized my face um, using um, just some uh, Jergens moisturizer. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use my usual um, Cover Effects blurring primer all over my face. And I just want to do this simple everyday makeup look because this is mainly, I mean, this is, I like to try new things as far as like cut creases and all that different stuff, but I love just doing a simple um, everyday makeup look. So again, I'm just putting this all over my nose. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna be getting new lighting um, and I'm gonna be starting some uh, lookbook hauls um, for like winter, spring, um, and whatnot. So I'm excited about that. So yeah, I just put the cover effects. I just put the cover flex. Uh, can't even talk. But I just put the cover effects blurring primer all over my face, and I'm just going to start um, by doing my brows real quick since it is an everyday makeup look I usually start by doing um, a little foundation from here up and then my brows um, but because this is gonna be an everyday look and there's gonna be not much eyeshadow pretty much no eyeshadow I'm just gonna do my brows real quick so yeah for you guys who don't know, my brows are um, microbladed on, um, so they're permanent. Um, but I like the sharpness, um, and I don't want to get them microbladed again because that was painful. Um, so <laughs> this is what they look like. They've I've had them done uh, about what was it like four or five years ago, and so they're super faded now. But I need to get them redone, but. I ain't got time for that. So yeah, I just used my Kiss Professional um, Top Brow Pencil. You can get it from like your local beauty supply store. I think it's like $3. Yeah, I think it was like $3.99. And so, yeah, I just do like light strokes going upward. And I'm gonna clean it up so it'll look a lot better than what it looks right now. Cause right now it's looking like trash. But um, yeah. And then I go in with, so you can see, I mean, I know I go in further, but I'm gonna clean that up. As you can see, it's like more defined and looks more like hairs in the front and this looks super faded and like a tattoo. So yeah, I just go on the other side. All right, I know that looks crazy right now, but wait for the process. So yeah, I'm going to take my little Take my little uh, Bare uh, Minerals Concealer brush. It's a really thin brush, and then I'm gonna clean it up with some concealer. All right, now that my eyebrows are done, 
and all cleaned up. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation, and this is in the color 385, and I'm gonna put this on my face. So yeah, I'm gonna take my Fenty and then just do two little pumps on this little uh, silicone, a uh, little sponge. I don't know the name of the sponge, but I got it from Walmart. And then I'll just uh, put this all over my face. I'm so happy that Fenty came out with some more shades. I finally found my color. I was using 390 before this and uh, yeah, no. Your girl was looking really orange and stuff and it was not looking cute. I mean, I would make it work, but it was looking terrible. This right here is 385 though. It's 385 though. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. So yeah, did my foundation. And then I'm just gonna go back in and use this. I was using this foundation, but um, it's a tad sh shade lighter than I'd like it to be. It doesn't look warm enough like how this Fenty uh, 365 looks so I'm using the fit me foundation and this is in the color warm sun uh, which is 334 uh, and I'm just going to use this to um, act as a concealer and highlight underneath my eyes and chin and stuff all right so now that I've now that I've highlighted, I'm gonna go in with my Milani in the color 03 Banana and uh, just set the concealer. I'm just going in with this fluffy brush, tap it off and just highlight or just set the concealed areas. All right, so that's all set. And then I'm gonna go in with my Fit Me, um, Again, this is the matte poreless, but this is in the shade 365. And I'm gonna use this to contour. And I know you guys are probably like, why do you use foundations to contour with? Um, it's just a preference of mine. Um, like I said, I am such an oily person. Um, as far as like um, my skin goes. Um, so I just like to use all matte products and I know you can't really find matte concealers. Um, so I use, did I get that in my hair? I use matte foundations. I use matte foundations that are a few shades darker to contour with and a few shades lighter to um, highlight with. And go back over that contour 
with my beauty blender that had a little bit of the Fenty product foundation on it and then just smooth out. Smooth out that contour so it doesn't look so harsh. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Milani uh, Rose Dior uh, Baked Powder. This is um, a blush and it has kind of a um, little shimmer to it. And I'm just gonna put this over my cheeks. Just to add a little bit of color. All right, and then I'm gonna take this Wonder Lash Mascara. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I got it in a boxy charm. A uh, bo uh, box subscription, and I'm just gonna do my lashes. All right, so I just did the mascara, and it looks good, top and bottom. Normally, I if I wanted to go real, just natural I would just leave it like this um, and then just do my lips um, but because I want a little bit more pop to this uh, everyday look I'm just gonna do some liquid eyeliner do a little quick wing and then put my lashes on all right I'm back I just did a little wing liner and popped on some lashes um, I used my elf um black liner um and then these are just some lashes that i got from the beauty supply store so yeah i got a little bit of the liner um on the bottom inner corner i don't know if you can see it there so i'm just gonna clean that up a little bit there And I'm almost done with this look. And your girl is almost done. So then I'm going to take this Ruby Kiss um, Ultra Easy um, it's actually an eyeliner that I'm going to use as a lip liner and line my lips because I like this color. And this color is um, burgundy. It says burgundy, but it looks like a brown color. And then I just use this um, I believe this is wet and wild and I it's all I mean most of my stuff is all brushed off um, and no longer has a name but it's like a lip gloss it's kind of an orangey color and I just use that on the inside And then I go in with this I go in this with this uh, Ruby Kiss Forever Matte. I know I just put gloss on this, but I like the middle to kind of have like a matte nude look. So, um, and it's all gonna like blend together. But yeah, this is, uh, the Forever Matte Ruby Kiss, um, and it's a nude. It's called, um, 
hubby bubby or hu hu hubby bunny and I just put that right in the middle So yeah, this is the finished look. If you like what you saw um, and you like how I did this um, everyday, kind of glam, uh, <laughs> but um, I think everyday um, makeup look, um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, and yeah, if you want to see more videos of me, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.